Alrighty, well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, I'm starting to work on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, and um, I'm just like like I usually do on these blog posts. I'm at a point where um, I want to talk about this uh, this new team, or actually, I should say, um, a new and improved version on an old team that I had that uh, a guy named DJ Screw um, suggested me. So yeah, so we kind of kind of kind of added a added a tweak here and there and made it better but anyway like i said i'm working on my final fantasy 14 blog post so i just i find it easier to just make a video like this um rather than trying to type down this big wall of text uh trying to explain to trying to explain to all the other people how the how the team works but you kind of get it, get the idea it's it, it's going to be easier to show than tell so and then, like usual, I'm going to have some music running in the background. So it's going to be a uh, Texas Goodstone album. Um, it's, a, it's an album that kind of grew on me. I was playing it at the start of my stream, too. And um, it's also my, quote, morning music. It's the one of the albums that I like to play when I wake up. So, yeah, let me go ahead and get that fired up. And I need to do one other thing. Yeah, I got to do something else here. Something I forgot to do earlier before getting going on this video. Okay. So, anyway. Um, yeah, I'll just go ahead and do it in here. Since uh, I'm super low on these trait stones. So... But it, this is going to be um, Skulls R Us version 2.0. Now, the original one, the one that um, DJ Screw suggested me, actually had Moon Rabbit at the bottom. At the time, I didn't have Wrath. Oh, double tap. Yeah, I didn't have Wrath, in, or I didn't have the Wrath card. So, we're just doing the best we can with what we got, so... Which... The big one being, he starts with full mana, turns all the blue gems to yellow, and blesses the first ally. So... But, like I said, some point recently, I acquired Wrath, so... We just added him to this team, kind of an improvement. His big one... Is uh, explode two two gems when he deals skull damage. His ability turns all the blue gems to brown and the yellows to skulls. Don't really care about the last one there. So and then uh, I'll I'll explain everything else. Let's check this out. But um, this team um, is a it's a pretty slow team, which no, this isn't what I wanted to do. Back up a bit. But some of my other teams, um, like my turnip crew, which the abilities are for the most part whack a mole. You just cast them as they come up. Um, like my free matches team here, you basically just cast the abilities as they come up. To a lesser extent, you know, Rock Band, you know, again, Whack-A-Mole, or a little bit of planning on here, because they knock around, they knock around, or they knock around your opponents and stuff. Whereas this one here, Skulls Are Us, and I guess since I'm here, the Skull Falls team that I've also done another video on, these require some planning on your part. Again, you can't, you don't want to just simply cast abilities as they come up. You have to be pretty judici judicious about what you're going to cast and when. So, but I'll, I'll explain more as I get into the match. I'm going to take a drink of water real quick. So, but what you'll be prioritizing is board by matches. Pretty obvious. And 
then after that, oh, there's another one. You'll want to go after skull matches. Now, now this team though, though does have a very bad or very big weakness, I should say. Um, just like my skull balls team, Wrath is no tank. I mean, he can reflect skull damage, but I believe you have to take all the skull damage first before he can reflect some of it back. So, with what I'm running right now, he's basically dead in two hits. So, but, um, I think I'll, it was suggested if you don't have any skull matches or any four or five matches, you're supposed to go after purple. I bl believe the reason you're trying, to, you're trying to turn all the green gems to yellow. This is what um, Ishbala has. Turns the red to skulls and green to yellow. We're all trying to turn all the green to yellow so you can have a whole bunch of yellow matches. Double tap. And then, um, so you'll be able to cast Rope Dart. But this is something that you need to get up ASAP. Um, this might be an exception here since basically you've got to get a you've got to get the guy on top over here entangled, because otherwise Wrath is dead in two hits. So less of an issue now since I did get this uh, top guy over here entangled. But what I've been doing is actually prioritizing blue over yellow. Again, the goal being to try to get this guy up as quickly as possible. And then I think uh, blue, blue until you're until you're safe, then yellow. Got rope dart, and then good thing, good thing I got it because entangled just fell off. So now I, unless there's a real pressing need on me uh, pulling up a certain monster, I usually just go after whoever has the highest armor. And for those that don't know this, it removes all armor from an enemy, damages them, and then yoinks them to first position. And then it also untangles them, and as it showed on the right, you also get an extra turn. So, uh, so I'll go ahead and hit the Mextria here. So, and then, bye bye, Lightstorm. So, but like I said, here's where the uh, the uh, careful planning part comes in because again you have to you got to do it in such a way that it's going to result in at least a four match like the combination of blue and brown and yellow and skulls there has to at least be a four match in there somewhere which doesn't seem to look that way okay so now We'll go after purple. Try to get her up. Okay, skull match right there. Let's let's see if there's a four match I missed. Nope. Because again, matching skulls explodes gems. So this is Tex. And this? Alright, so. So you got that off. Okay, got something there. Yeah, I'm not seeing any blues. Um, I'll just do that. And it just got cleansed off. And it looks like we're about to go belly up. Oh, got lucky. Welcome if you got him. There we go. So I had that resulted in a five match. Um, I kind of need to get rope dart going. 
but this guy here converts purple to red and brown to skulls. Oh, and uh, this is kind of a big one too. Blesses two random allies. So, top guys entangled, so I breathe a little bit easier. I'll just, I'll just go ahead and do that. Okay, rope dart. And got a blue core match. Hey, it's up again. So, but yeah, you want to strip the armor off your opponents first. So, you still got armor on him. Oh, and um, for those that have, for those that have never played this game, when I mention armor, you look at the number at the top here, like 68, 86, etc. Um, the way damage works in this game, it gets taken from the armor first, and then your life second. Yeah, again, the idea is to strip the armor of all your opponents first. And scan on the board, seeing what I got. Um, which doesn't look like I... Yeah, so gonna have to just do the skull match. Some awful luck right now. So we got pur I got a purple and a red. Ah, uh, you better see if I can get rope dart. Didn't quite work. Angle still on him. All right, finally. Oh, Lord. All right, so when in doubt, just rope dart him. Okay, there we go. Like I said, this is a slow team. Um, I won't be able to... Yeah, I think... Um, he can bless, but... um, This guy here, he can cast silence. So, but... There's no way to skip this. So, let's... Try another kingdom. I'll just pick this one here, Songcrest. Eh, that's a D6. Well, I don't get no dust devils in here. Okay. But yeah, let's go ahead and do another one. Uh, but again, you're looking for four and five matches. And fail on that. Uh, skulls. Um, again, I've been going with, uh, I've been going with blue matches. So you, you could, um, you could also go with yellows, but all those yellows are going to be going to Wrath first. So. Oh, he didn't take it. Top guy's entangled, so I can breathe a little bit easier. Hey, the whole entire team's uh, entangled up, so. Okay.
but you kind of kind of see how this is working though like I said there's a fair amount of planning that's involved in this you don't just cast your abilities willy-nilly and then of course my brain kind of parted still want to strip the armor off of them but yeah like I said like I said I kind of forgot about that so there what I just did turn the green to yellow so the rope darts up again oh come on there's got to be something here Stubborn, there we go, we got one. And then, um... Yeah, I don't plan on sticking around. Yeah. So, I'm gonna... I don't... I don't think this team is PvP worthy. Except maybe firebombs. I'll go ahead with this. For those that don't know, when it comes to PvP, um, the way the firebomb team on the right here works is uh, they're basically they're basically handing you a free win as long as you can handle their explosions. Like they, uh, the firebombs blow up and then they die. If you can survive that, you'll win the you'll win the match. And that, this is all they do. But yeah, it. Wait, maybe these kind of teams. Hey, Frozen kicked in. Oh, there goes one. There goes two. Well, yeah, this might have been a bad team to try it out on. Taken off of them. There we go. Well, killed one of them. No. Well, let's try this one out. But like I said, this doesn't really strike me as a PvP, a, a PvP team. This is more more geared towards PvE type stuff. And with this kind of team here, is centered around Chalcedony basically looping this spell over and over and over, so I shouldn't have to worry I shouldn't have to worry about like making sure the top guy's entangled or anything. It's not what this uh, team's about. That was a bad call. Oh, there goes one. Oh, one down. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, going for it. Well, both Chalcedonians are gone now. So. I shot him. So. I should be home free. Yeah. So. Uh, let's try this one. And then um, this will probably be probably be my last battle right here. So I'll rope dart. Let's get him brought to the top. And then sometimes, I forgot to mention this earlier, her ability, no, wait, wait, I think I did. Yeah, but the other the other key component of this is uh, green gems to yellow. So, rope dart is up and running again. Let's pull her up. Two stinking head points. Or not one stinking head point. But yeah. Um Oh jo 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 all Powerpuff Girls. Okay, but anyway, um, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Um, I just wanted to explain how the how the uh, new and improved team works there. So I hope so. I hope I explained it well enough. Um, and I'll looks like I'll be back to work on my Final Fantasy XIV blog. So, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.